Hi, in this video we'll be discussing the uh, voltage regulation using the LM3055 NPM transistor. I have one set up on the desk right now on a breadboard. The, uh, the actual NPM transistor is uh, currently mounted on a heatsink. I'll show you that one as well shortly. And uh, I'm going uh, to show you a demonstration and the circuits of it being used to regulate. I'm going to start off with a 12 volt input and show you the regulation in there and then I'm going to explain how we configured the the scaling for the output and then I'm going to talk a bit more in detail about it from then on okay so let's go straight to the bench the circuit shown here uh, is basically the circuit that I used for the uh, the demonstration on the breadboard now <clears throat> uh, what I've done is you see there's a variable resistor that substitutes the uh, the voltage in just for the demonstration but I'll also show you the, the voltage in being provided by the uh, the Arduino and, uh, and basically you can see these the two resistors at the side you use the calculation shown below to uh, to set the ratio and, uh, and that is what your V out will be but keep in mind we're using the LM, LM358 and I can see about about a 2 volt uh, drop uh, on it so basically just keep in mind your maximum voltage coming in, your voltage coming in V plus that's a plus V in minus 2 volts is going to be your maximum output regardless of whatever calculations you put in so yeah keep that in mind right here's the uh, the breadboard setup now I've misplaced my uh, through hole version of it so I had to rig up a little uh, little adapter but it's uh, still the, the LM358 and I have a pot on here to vary the, uh, the input voltage which I'll, uh, I'll show you, here's the uh, the schematic basically the pot is creating the volts in we'll be replacing this with an input from the digital to analog converter from the the Arduino from the yeah for the LM4822 but for now this is just going to generate our V in voltage uh, that goes into the positive input and the way it's configured here using this formula R1 and R2 in this case for the example are 1k each so basically it will the formula basically means the V out is V in times 2 so whatever voltage we set here which we have a uh, that meter set up to read that not me yes I hear that there uh, multiplied by 2 is what the uh, V out should be but obviously we're going to be limited here by the input voltage um, minus uh, a volt or two because of the voltage drop from that for that so um, so yeah so let's have a look now like I said this is the V in this is what's controlled by this pot set as a voltage divider uh, my voltage input comes in here from from the uh, power supply currently set that at 12 volts it's all off right now I will turn it on as soon as we're ready so it's V in and this will be V out there. there's the resistors as shown yeah, it's a bit of a mess uh, back there is my 3055 2N3055 uh, ignore this it's it's the original power supply that come in the case so I'm gonna rip that out possibly and stick my own in I'm probably gonna build my power supply in this case I've got a PC fan hooked up as a heat sink on there uh, with the fan as well the fans not connected uh, we're not gonna be drawing any any current through this so I didn't need to hook it up to the uh, the heat sink but this one already had leads on it so I uh, thought I might as well use it <coughs> uh, we won't be using any Arduino in this video because uh, it's uh, this is analog only in this video we're not quite at the stage yet where we want to control it with the the Arduino but we could if we wanted to it's uh, you know for this point we could attach it to here but I'm leaving that for another video so let's uh, let's get things turned on. 
Okay, let's get a little cheapy Mastercraft going. 20 volt range. Um, you go on. Voltage range. Okay. Now, neither of these meters are uh, uh, calibrated, so. Yeah, this is only a rough thing. Okay, so let's get you on. 12 volts. Okay, so let's see. So we have 3.76 volts sat on this pot, so let's turn it right down for now and see what we get. So we've got 0 volts in and almost 0 volts out. But like I said, I, these are not calibrated, so we don't know the accuracy of that. So if I slowly start turning the voltage up, let's see if I can get it on a nice even. Let's see if we can get it to one volt. Should use a 10 turn pot. There we go. So we've got one volt in, uh, 1.7. So we've got 2.14 coming out. So that, that is double that. So that proves that that is working. So let's keep going. Let's see how far we can go. In theory, it'd be about 11 volts output should be the cap. Oh no, 9.9. .9. Okay. So let's see. Let's see if I dip down. Yeah. See, that's that working. Okay, I'm going to turn this pot right down to zero. And we're going to bring this up just a little bit. Uh, let's go up to 20 volts. Now, I can't go much further than that. You know, the Bitline Pre 5.8 is limited to uh, about 32 volts. Okay, so that's 20 volts there. Okay, now this will be a little fiddlier. Yeah, slowly turn this up. Oh, so if I take this back to 1 volt again, and you can see it is uh, still true. See, 2.1 is double 1.05, so. so this will remain true. So let's see what our limit is. So we've now got 12 volts out from 6 volts in. Uh, what voltage can we get on this? Yeah, 17.9 volts seems to be our limit from 19.9 volts. Uh, so yeah, we got about a 2 volt drop. So basically all we... Uh, we have to just keep that in mind when we're uh, designing our final circuit. That there's going to be a two volt drop. Let's see. Any heat coming off that? No. That's nice and cool. But like I said, there's no current being drawn, so. So it's not a problem. <clears throat> so yeah, that's. Uh, so that works well. So it's a very simple circuit and you know it doesn't really uh, doesn't require very much to, to get it running but I am tempted to to hook this up to the Arduino just to just to give a quick demo of of the Arduino controlling it in fact I'll rig that up right now I'll be right back right I've made the changes uh, what we have here is uh, <clears throat> I basically move the uh, the circuitry from the, uh, the ADC in the deck from from this old board that was on my Mega all the way to the to this board now, which has the Nano on it. <clears throat> uh, basically, we're taking DAC channel A, which now goes into where the pot used to be see so I've disconnected the pot so right now this pot go basically this pot goes into the analog to digital converts to digital then converts from digital back to analog 
and then goes all the way over here to the circuit and on on the screen we have it reading the uh, the value of the DAC going out so let's put it to it's close to let's get yeah, to FFF right so now what that creates is 0.25 volts and that plate price it creates just under uh, 500 millivolts so we uh, I'm gonna slowly turn up the uh, the input to the ADC and as you can see it's slowly slowly making it change so we can go a little faster if we need to okay now you've got to keep in mind the DAC is limited to 4.096 volts because of the way it works see right now see we're at FFF and uh, therefore that's that that's why we'll be dealing with the scaling so we'll have to play around with these to um, to set the maximum voltage and that will scale 4096 all the way up to maximum voltage depending on the maximum voltage you have right now I would limit that at about 30 volts maximum or we can scale it down to 20 if we need to it's not much of a problem yeah this is the so this is the basic example of this working <clears throat> and this is obviously these this circuit would be integrated on this board well it's going to be integrated on this board for uh, before the next videos but we still have a few more things we need to do with this uh, we need to do the current reading feedback and and find a way of limiting the feedback and that will be the next analog uh, That'll be in the next analog episode. That'll be current reading and current limiting. Um, but the next digital episode will will deal with uh, inputs, such as we may uh, may look at using a keypad like this, <coughs> or custom design keypad like this, which is basically the exact same electrical workings except a different pinout um, I've also been looking into uh, rotary encoders as well and uh, or we can just use the analog inputs like this uh, this power supply will be designed to be as flexible so you can basically choose how you want to build it and uh, just select the options in the code but for now this is um, yeah this is the uh, voltage regulation using uh, the lm3055 mpn transistor i hope that was enlightening for you uh, it's quite a simple circuit when you look at it um, all you need to do is is worry about the uh, configuration of the the ratio resistors in it but once you do that it's it's simple it takes care of itself the <laughs> you don't have to use any code or anything to uh, to regulate the voltage in this case you set the voltage and the the op amp and the transistor will work together to keep that voltage at the level for you uh, but yeah the the addition of the arduino at the end there i, I thought i'd do that that was a last minute thing but that's basically how it's going to be hooked up and, and how it's going to work except the, it's a dual DAC but the second channel of the DAC will actually be used in the uh, current limiting which you'll see in the next analog vi video uh, but in the next digital video which is the next video coming up I'll be concentrating on the uh, on the user inputs mainly buttons or rotary encoders and uh, we'll see if we can find make some kind of makeshift interface to begin with because uh, we are getting close to the uh, the point where we're going to start merging the analog and digital together uh, as we've pretty much shown you in this video a little bit but if we can 
make some kind of interface so we can set the voltage and the current then we'll be ready to merge it after we've done the uh, current sensing and current limiting which uh yeah which is going to be fun so i will uh, i will catch you next time and uh, take care goodbye <laughs>